How's it going, guys? I'm Dustin Cormier from How to Rock a Campfire, and um, we're going to play a song called Breakdown today by Tom Petty. Uh, I gotta love Tom Petty. Um, so this song is not one of his, I don't know, I guess it's a pretty well-known song. Um, but I kind of particularly like it because it's just got a funky, it's a funky groove, and it shows heart, it shows attitude, you know? A little bit of pizzazz of, like, character. And um, if you if you do that, you know what I mean. So this is one of those songs where it's quiet, you know, it's kind of slow and relatively simple. But it's the the silence between the notes is just as important as the notes. You know what I mean? Anyway, <clears throat> so this is um, breakdown by Tom Petty. It's uh, basically A minor to the G uh, G sixth. So you're going A minor. Uh, when you go to your G chord, you just leave your you leave uh, the E string hanging off, right? It's called a G6, obviously, because uh, D is the fifth of G, and then one note above that is the E. E is the sixth note in the G major scale. Anyway, you guys know that. <laughs> so. Uh, uh, like, see what I mean by attitude? There's like a lot of strange dynamic going on here. So I like to focus the, the attack of my strum for the A minor, and then when I go to that G at first, uh, you can pretty much do the whole A minor, but focus your strum on these three, uh, on the first three notes that you're hitting, the A string, the D string, and the G string. Right? And maybe also the B string as well. But then when you go to that G, you don't want to really hear the B or the high E. Okay? Because that's just for this sort of funky rhythm that I got going on. Okay? So what I'll usually do is I'll hit that A minor, and then the G right after. It's syncopated too, right? A minor, G. And then you, as soon as you do, you hit, as soon as you strike that low part, you do a sort of upstroke and then accent that high the high E. I'm a bit extreme right now, but like just to show you, right? One, two, three, four. So the punch is just before the third beat of the chord, right? One, two, three, four. There's that bam, bam, okay? I'm trying to stomp my foot to, like, I guess you can't see it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> yeah. Um, <clears throat> so it's a bit of a weird beat, but if you can get it, it's good because it's, like, sexy. And it's, like, I don't know, it's a cool tune. <sighs> so it's pretty much A minor and G6 all the way down until he gets the, you know, I, I'm not, I'm not afraid of you running away, honey. I get this feeling you want. Uh, so that's like F uh, major, and then you go to F my major seventh, right? Um, and you guys will see when I use that, right? Anyway, you go through the whole first long verse. And then it comes into the, uh, at the end of the first verse, there's, uh, it comes into that F major 7th again, right? We said all there is to say. Piece, piece this together. Uh, we said all there is to say. Right, this is on the end of the first verse. So what I like to do is really... Oh, there goes my pick, you bastard. Really try to emphasize the bass notes. Really try to emphasize the bass notes. Coming out of that F chord, uh, you're going to go a big, loud G just by itself. Uh, and then when you do the A minor, you try to do like those low notes and then stop, like staccato, like snappy, right? We said all there is to say. Break down, go ahead and give it to me. 
right? So there's a lot of emphasis on the <laughs> performance, I guess, right? People are seeing with their eyes as well as seeing with their ears, you know? Um, or hearing with their ears. Anyway. <clears throat> You have that snappy staccato for the A minor, and then when you go to the G, you have a, you give you let it go, right? Break down. Okay, so down, snap, down. Oh yeah, so this is just the snap. Snap, break down. Go ahead and give it to me. Snap, break G. We'll take you through the night. Break down, break down. Go ahead and give it to me. So there's a lot of soloing uh, going on in this song as well. I'll try to do it. I'll probably duff it. But anyway, after the solo, you just go right back into the chorus. But I, what I usually like to do is I'll do the second part of the first verse again. So that there's something instead of just one verse and then two choruses, right? Anyway, <clears throat> I'll show you guys what I'm talking about by playing the whole song through for you. <laughs> like I said, it's a pretty easy song, technically, but... It requires a lot of tood, you know, a little bit of gusto, you know? So anyway, give it a try. <clears throat> Down by Tom Petty. Uh, I'm Dustin Cormier for How to Rock a Campfire. See you guys in the next one.